In 2026, the automotive industry is poised to witness one of the most surprising turnarounds of the decade. While the entire world is still digesting Tesla's previous releases, Elon Musk's company seems ready to turn the tables again, this time with an innovation that strikes at the heart of every electric car, the battery. The Model 2, scheduled to debut in the second half of the year, arrives with a bold promise to eliminate lithium and replace it with a hybrid aluminum-sodium chemistry. Sounds radical? Perhaps. But it is precisely this type of disruption that usually redefines the game. And if this technology delivers on what the data indicates, it could be the definitive tipping point for the mass adoption of electric vehicles. To understand the magnitude of this, it's necessary to remember the following. Lithium was the undisputed king of batteries for more than two decades, but it's expensive, scarce, and concentrated in sensitive geopolitical regions. Sodium and aluminum, on the other hand, are everywhere, in the oceans, in the soil, even in industrial waste. And what's most striking is the cost. While lithium costs up to $15 per kilogram, sodium costs only 13 cents. It's an absurd difference. And when Tesla discovered how to make this duo as efficient as LFP batteries, the entire scenario changed, literally and economically. The first Model 2 prototypes equipped with this new battery have already reached $170 watt price. This is practically the same energy performance as current lithium iron batteries, but with a simpler, cheaper chemical structure that is more resistant to extreme temperature variations. Just imagine an electric car that you can leave parked under the desert sun or in the Norwegian cold without worrying about loss of efficiency or risk of overheating. And all this with the same range of 400 kilometers costing up to 40% less than traditional cells. And it doesn't stop there. This battery promises full recharges in less than five minutes. Five minutes. That's the time it takes to order a coffee and pay at the register. This dismantles the biggest argument against electric cars, the waiting time to recharge. Suddenly, the Model 2 becomes not only cheaper, but also more practical than any combustion engine car. And, of course, much cleaner. Have you ever thought about what it means to fuel your car with recyclable energy in less time than it would take to fill a gasoline tank? Another point that has made competitors uncomfortable is the recyclability of these batteries. While lithium batteries still face serious limitations in this aspect, aluminum sodium batteries are easier to disassemble, reuse, and treat. This drastically reduces the environmental impact and creates a circular production chain something that aligns with the world's most stringent sustainability goals. Tesla isn't just building a new car, it's building a new logic of mobility. And perhaps that's why it's been so quiet until now. When innovation is too big, the noise comes later. But it's not all that simple. Creating a battery with good energy performance, safety, fast charging, low cost, and environmental friendliness is like wanting all the superpowers at once. The secret, according to engineers close to the project, lies in how Tesla fused aluminum with sodium to form a hybrid cell that controls the formation of dendrites, those microscopic needles that are usually the nightmare of batteries. If it manages to maintain this control on an industrial scale, Tesla's dominance over the market could extend for another decade. The economic impact is also brutal. If the company actually manages to lower the cost of the battery pack to less than $60 per DD, we're talking about a complete break in the cost-benefit ratio that favored gasoline cars. And with the new factories in Berlin, Austin, and Shanghai ready to operate at full speed, Tesla can deliver millions of Model 2 units per year without depending on lithium from South America or China. It's energy, technological, and geopolitical independence all in one package. Perhaps that's why so many people are trying to discredit this battery even before it hits the streets. But technical data continues to leak. Patent applications have increased in recent months, and secret tests with internal fleets suggest that the project is already beyond the experimental phase. 
The Model 2 is no longer a concept or a promise from Elon Musk. It's real, tangible, and ready to debut on the market, with a proposition that could take electric vehicles to a new level of accessibility. The transition from lithium to aluminum sodium doesn't happen in isolation. It brings with it a series of other innovations. And the next one is hidden right at the heart of the car, the motor. The new Model 2 motor, unlike anything Tesla has ever produced, uses a rotor encased in carbon fiber. It may seem like just a change of material, but it's a silent revolution that transforms power, weight, and efficiency simultaneously. Just to give you an idea, this new motor is capable of reaching up to 20,000 revolutions per minute, a number that surpasses the performance of the current Model 3 motors by 25%. All this with less heat, less noise, and more range. The secret lies in the casing itself. By encasing the rotor in carbon fiber, Tesla can compress the motor more efficiently, without the risk of deformation at high speeds. This means less friction, less wasted energy, and a real gain in the car's performance. And this gain isn't just technical. It translates directly into daily fuel consumption. A car that saves 10% of energy every 100 kilometers, as estimated, saves the equivalent of 70 kilometers over 500,000 kilometers. In practice, this represents an entire lifetime of free energy compared to previous models. But the real masterstroke here goes beyond efficiency. Tesla is gradually eliminating the need to use rare earth elements like neodymium and dysprosium in its motors, expensive, environmentally sensitive elements with production concentrated in a few countries. By redesigning the motor's magnetic field and improving thermal control, the company is able to reduce its dependence on these materials without compromising performance. This means more industrial freedom, less geopolitical risk, and greater control over the production chain. It's a strategic independence that few automakers have managed to achieve. And there's another detail that goes unnoticed by many. Lighter engines change everything. With less mass spinning up front, the car needs less energy to accelerate, allowing for smaller batteries to achieve the same range. This reduces the vehicle's overall weight, which in turn demands less from the engine and the cycle is self-reinforcing. The sensation, according to those who have already tested the prototypes, is of a car that seems to float when it gains speed, effortlessly, silently, simply gliding with precision. This type of engine also requires less maintenance, no excessive friction, no overheating, no exaggerated vibrations, and the less wear and tear the lower the chance of failures over time. In a market accustomed to replacing parts, overhauling systems, and dealing with noises that appear out of nowhere, the Model 2 seems to want to eliminate all of that. The engine becomes almost invisible. It's there, but you barely notice it. And that is, perhaps, the perfect definition of well-made technology. And of course, all of this also impacts the cost of production. It is estimated that this new motor will cost less than $1,000 per unit, which represents a drop of up to 25% compared to Tesla's current motors. For a car that is already being designed to cost below $25,000, every penny saved at this stage is a victory. It's no exaggeration to say that the carbon fiber motor may be the key piece that allows Tesla to deliver this final price without compromising performance or durability. The relationship between weight, efficiency, and cost has always been a difficult equation to solve in the automotive industry. And what Tesla is doing now is finding the exact balance between these three factors with a single component. When an engine consumes less energy, requires less material, costs less to produce, and still runs better, it's hard to think of any argument against it. And when it's also more beautiful, quieter, and lighter, then it's just unfair. When the motor becomes lighter and the battery more stable, Tesla leverages this foundation to reinvent another critical point, safety. And this time, the approach isn't just about protection, but about absolute prevention. The Model 2 is being built on a platform that promises zero risk of fire. 
That's no exaggeration. The goal is that fire simply doesn't have a chance to exist. Instead of trying to control the damage, Tesla wants to eliminate it at its root. And honestly, only someone who understands engineering as an art could think of something so ambitious. The secret lies in how the battery pack will be integrated into the car's structure. Instead of functioning as a separate component, it becomes part of the vehicle's skeleton, contributing to rigidity and distributing heat more efficiently. Between the modules, there are thermal layers that act as true fire brakes. If a cell overheats, the reaction stops right there. No domino effect, no chain reaction. It's as if each cell were inside a small armored safe. And to further reinforce this structure, the battery casing will be made of aluminum, a material that dissipates heat up to 40% faster than steel. This allows heat to be channeled out before it even becomes a problem. In addition, the liquid cooling system has been redesigned with a micro-channeled loop that keeps the cell temperature within a variation of only 2 degrees Celsius. In other words, no hot spots, no unpleasant surprises. The proposal here is simple and radical, to transform safety into part of the architecture, not an accessory. While other brands reinforce the software or add more sensors, Tesla tackles the essence. It creates a structure that makes fire, in practice, physically impossible. It's a leap in mindset. And perhaps this is the kind of leap the industry has needed for a long time. Because let's face it, however modern electric cars may be, the possibility of combustion still scares many people. If the numbers are correct, this new platform could reduce fire-related incidents by more than 90%. To give you an idea, in 2013, the rate was five fires for every 100,000 vehicles. With the Model 2, the estimate is less than 0.5, a risk so small that it approaches what happens with smartphones. In other words, safer than lighting a match at home. This changes the perception of safety, especially for families, the elderly, and people who are still afraid to switch to public transport. And you can't ignore the psychological impact of this change. Knowing that the car your children are in won't catch fire even in a serious collision brings a peace of mind that no touchscreen or voice command could offer. And this kind of security, the kind you feel, not just see, is what creates true loyalty. Because what protects your life is worth more than any horsepower, with the risk of fire virtually eliminated and the engine designed to last longer than many marriages, Tesla is now targeting another sensitive point, maintenance, or rather, the absence of it. The Model 2 is being designed with a proposition that defies all the traditional logic of the industry. A car that simply doesn't need maintenance for a million miles. That's right, we're talking about approximately one. Six million kilometers driven without servicing, oil changes, belts, spark plugs, or any other ritual that normally empties the owner's pocket over the years. This magic begins with a virtually frictionless motor, with fewer than 20 moving parts, sealed bearings, and lifetime lubrication. The new propulsion system doesn't require a single screw to be tightened during its entire lifespan. No fluids to change, no belts to tension. Tesla wants drivers to forget what it means to go to the mechanic. And let's face it, after so long living with maintenance, that alone would be reason enough to consider changing cars. Furthermore, the inverter, an essential component for converting battery energy into movement, should migrate to a version made with silicon carbide. This material has a much higher thermal capacity and operates with greater energy efficiency, in addition to reducing internal wear due to heat. In other words, less stress, longer lifespan, and a system that functions like an autonomous organism. It's like having a heart that beats on its own for decades without ever needing surgery. But perhaps what's most impressive about this new drive unit is how it completely changes the mathematics of ownership. Today, a combustion engine car costs an average of 10 cents per mile driven, including fuel, maintenance, and wear and tear. Tesla wants to cut that value in half, or even more. 
With a system that consumes less energy and virtually eliminates workshop costs, the cost per mile drops to four to five cents. In a usage of 200,000 miles, this could mean savings of up to $12,000. It's almost like getting a new car just for choosing the Model 2. This type of savings may seem small when viewed in daily increments, but in the long run, it redefines the concept of an affordable car. Because the real value isn't just in what you pay at the time of purchase, but in what you save over the years. And if the Model 2 truly delivers this lasting performance, it will be impossible for older automakers to keep up without redesigning everything from scratch. Another point worth highlighting is how this durability was considered from the vehicle's inception. Nothing is improvised. Every part, every system was calculated to function as part of a cohesive, self-sufficient, and time-resistant organism. This is not an exaggeration. It's a design that draws directly from Tesla's previous experiences with the Model 3 and Model Y, which have already demonstrated ample resistance in laboratory tests. But now, this resistance is no longer a bonus. It's the standard. With a car that practically never breaks down, doesn't catch fire, and consumes almost no energy, the next natural step would be to make it independent, even when it comes to recharging. And that's exactly what Tesla is doing with its ultra-fast and self-sufficient charging network. But, as always, the company's plan goes beyond the obvious. Tesla isn't just spreading more charging stations around the world. It's building a parallel, silent, and strategic energy infrastructure that can change not only how cars are fueled, but how energy circulates through cities. By 2026, Tesla's global supercharger network is expected to exceed 55,000 units, with thousands of V4 chargers spread across five continents. These new charging points are already prepared to deliver up to 350 kilometers of power, enough to add 320 kilometers of range in less than 10 minutes. This makes charging an EV faster than waiting for an order at a drive through And, unlike gas stations, these points emit no noise, smoke, or fuel smell. Only pure, clean, and silent energy flowing directly to the battery. But what's truly impressive is what's behind these chargers. Many of them are being built with rooftop solar panels and integrated power wall systems, functioning as local microgrids. This means that during the day, the station itself generates its electricity, stores the surplus, and redistributes it at night or during peak hours. It's a self-sustaining system that reduces operating costs and protects against blackouts or fluctuations in the traditional grid's energy supply. In other words, each charger becomes an autonomous mini-power plant. This strategy also gives Tesla a level of control that no other automaker has. It controls both the car and the infrastructure simultaneously. While other companies rely on third-party networks, local partnerships, and governments to enable charging, Tesla moves forward independently, without asking permission. And that changes everything, because whoever controls the charging controls the user experience. The company ensures that the driver is not stranded, doesn't wait for hours, and doesn't need third-party apps. Everything is integrated, fluid, and, as fans of the brand say, almost magical. And there's more. With the expansion of this network, Tesla is beginning to draw an invisible energy map beneath the world's main routes. Each new supercharger is a piece of this puzzle, which one day could serve as the basis for even more ambitious services, such as bi-directional charging, power supply for homes, or even stabilization of urban power grids. It sounds like science fiction, but real tests are already underway in various regions of Europe and the United States. Tesla is gradually transforming itself into an energy supplier disguised as a car manufacturer. And this control of the infrastructure doesn't just benefit Tesla owners. It also attracts other brands, which, lacking better options, end up using the company's network. By 2025, there were already agreements with Ford, GM, and even Rivian to use supercharging.